Next question is from Shall We Fitness. Do you think it's necessary to keep workouts under a certain length of time or number of sets? Some trainers say workouts should last no more than an hour or that you should only do 12 to 15 sets per workout. Does it really matter? Or is the total weekly volume per muscle group the most important thing to consider? Okay, well, there's some general answers to this, but individually, boy, can this vary tremendously. I mean, I, you know, I've known some advanced lifters who could train, you know, 30 sessions, uh, excuse me, 30 sets per body part, two and a half hours. I know power lifters that train for two and a half hours to three hours in the gym because of long rest periods yep. in between sets, you know, bodybuilders in the past. Serge Nubray was known for doing yeah, it depends you know, on what you're doing. 50 sets per body part and crazy stuff. But generally speaking, when you look at the studies, what you're looking at is anywhere between 12 to 20 sets per body part per week is typically where people tend to fall. That's a pretty big range though, right? 12 sets and 20 sets, there's a big difference there. There's a difference of about eight total sets, but that's total weekly volume. So that means if, let's say you're doing 15 sets for chest for the week, then that means either you're doing one workout for 15 sets or doing three different workouts, five sets each. In other words, you can break it up different ways. Now we found in our our experience that it tends to work better when you break it up into smaller ses sessions versus doing it all at once. As far as total time of your workout, generally speaking, um, I don't know very many people that can have a quality workout that lasts longer than an hour, just generally speaking. Now, I know a lot of advanced people that can have a quality workout that's longer than that, but most average people, 45 minutes to an hour and you know a real good quality exercise, you're, you're probably doing okay. Now, if you throw mobility and correctional work and priming, then you could go an hour and a half and the whole you know session be pretty pretty uh, quality. But other, aside from that, you know, I don't like answering these with, with specifics because there may be someone listening that would benefit from doing an hour and a half of, of a hard workout and somebody who's listening who shouldn't go longer than 30 well, minutes. I really think it always goes back to the same thing that we say on this all the time, which the goal is always to do as little as possible to elicit the most amount of change. And so, and and why I like using that because it's that's that applies to no matter whether you're a brand new beginner or super advanced. Even the super advanced person should be doing the least amount possible to elicit the most amount of change. So even if that person is, you know, five years into training, they haven't missed a single day in five years. They can handle, you know, thirty sets of of, of a, a you know a, a total volume on a muscle group, but they should have if they did it properly, scale to that, you know, and, and if you're a brand new beginner, or maybe you've been off the gym for two months or more, and you're getting back in, you may not even need 12 sets. I mean, it, it, you, if you just get in there and you work out four or five sets and you weren't doing anything before, you're going to elicit change. Mm -hmm. Your body it will start to adapt and you'll, you'll, you'll start progressing in the right way. So I always, lean towards the lower end first so I can build on that and I slowly build. And so, you know, instead of like trying to, because this can get really crazy with all the studies that are out there of like, oh, this study says this amount, this, this study says, you know, the vault. It's like, well, all of that gets thrown out the window because there's such an individual variance on every single person. I know somebody who can get great results right now at this very moment doing just 10, you know, five to eight sets uh, a week. And then I know somebody else who will get great results at 12 to 15, someone else 20 to 30. And so it really depends on where you're currently at uh, in your, in your, your, your training regimen or your routine. And again, always trying to lean towards doing as little as possible to elicit change. And so you start off at just what you need to do to see change. And then, and, and I follow that, which is about three or four weeks. And then I need to start kind of slowly building on that. And, you know, some people like Sal was saying can handle a lot more volume than others. And you just got to, you got to, you got to measure your results. And there's a, there's a lot of other factors like intensity, mm -hmm. uh, exercises. I could handle way more volume and sets of isolation exercises than I can compound movements. I think that's probably true for a lot of people. Uh, if my intensity is super high, I can't handle as much volume. I mean, I've gotten great results in short periods of time, uh, granted, but still great results in short periods of time with very, very low volume, just very high intensity. Like, you know, I've done it where, you know, in a three or four week period, I'm doing like, rather than doing, 
you know, you know, 12 sets for my legs for the whole week. I'm doing like one or two, but they're like to failure, which really takes a lot of energy out of you. But it, my body progressed. So I think, you know, what Adam's saying is, is 100% true. It really depends on the individual, where you're coming from and what you've been doing before. And at the end of the day, doing more than is necessary to give you the maximal results is just wasting your time and actually taking away from your progress.